So you just finished watching your name for the second time? Third? Or maybe even 15th? But what else can you do to alleviate this hole in your heart? In this video, I'm going to recommend 10 anime movies and series you should watch and may enjoy after watching Your Name. Makoto Shinkai, the director of Your Name, received great praise from the anime and film community when this movie was released in 2007. If you enjoyed the beautiful animation and heart-tugging love story of Your Name, then this movie is for you. Takaki and Akari, two very close friends and classmates, are torn apart when Akari's family is transferred to another region of Japan due to her family's job. Despite separation, they continue to keep in touch through mail. When Takaki finds out that his family is also moving, he decides to meet with Akari for one last time. As years pass by, they continue down their own paths. Their distance slowly growing wider and their contact with one another fades. Yet, they keep remembering one another and the times that they shared together, wondering if they will ever have a chance to meet once again. Directed by Mamoru Hosoda, personally, my favorite director, if you enjoy the romance and time-altering aspects of your name, you enjoy this as well. Makoto is in her last year of high school but is having a hard time deciding what to do with her future. In between enduring the pressures of her teachers and killing time with her best friends, Makoto's life suddenly changes when she accidentally discovers that she is capable of literally leaping through time. Following Makoto as she plays around with her newfound power, she soon learns the hard way that every choice has a consequence, and time is a lot more complicated than it may seem. When five students at Yamaboshi Academy realize that there are no clubs where they fit in, they band together to form the Student Cultural Society. One day, Aoki and Yui experience a strange incident. Without warning, they switch bodies for a short period of time. As a supernatural phenomenon continues to occur randomly amongst the five friends, they begin to realize that it is not just fun and games. Now forced to become closer than ever, they soon discover each other's hidden secrets and emotional scars which could end up tearing their club and their friendship apart. Another film directed by Makoto Shinkai, the artwork and animation far exceeds any of his past, but the story and romance aren't as compelling as his other works. Mita's teacher is the same teacher shown in this movie, and many of the train sequences also feature the same characters. On a rainy morning in Tokyo, Takao, an expiring shoemaker, decides to skip class to sketch designs in a beautiful garden. This is where he meets Yukari Yukino, a beautiful yet mysterious woman, for the very first time. Offering to make her new shoes, Takao continues to meet Yukari throughout the raining season. Without even realizing it, the two are able to alleviate the worries hidden in their hearts just by being with each other. However, their personal struggles have not disappeared completely, and as the end of the rainy season approaches, their relationship will be put to the test. Steins Gate is a bit different from the rest. The first few episodes may divert non-anime audiences away, as the characters and setting take place around otaku Akihabara culture, and it is very slow moving, but I insist for you to continue watching. Understanding culture is not necessary, because the characters are so relatable and fleshed out, anyone can enjoy this. This is one of my favorite anime series, but it took a while for me to watch. Only until episode 12 is when I marathon it in a day. The self-proclaimed mad scientist Lintaro Okobe, or Hyoen Kyoma, rents out a room in a rickety old building in Akihabara, where he indulges himself in his hobby of inventing prospective future gadgets with fellow lab members Mayuri, his airheaded childhood friend, and Hashira Itaru, a perverted hacker nicknamed Daru. The three pass time by tinkering with their most promising contraption yet, a machine dubbed the Phone Microwave which performs the strange function of morphing bananas into piles of green gel. Though miraculous in itself, the phenomenon doesn't provide anything concrete in Okabe's search for a scientific breakthrough. That is, until the lab members are spurred into action by a string of mysterious happenings before stumbling upon an unexpected success. The full microwave can send emails to the past, altering the flow of history. Steins Gate takes Okabe through the depths of scientific theory and practicality. Forced across the diverging threads of past and present, Okabe must shoulder the burdens that come with holding the key to the realm of time. In an alternate reality, 1974 Japan, the country is split, with the southern islands controlled by America and the northern islands claimed by the Soviet Union. Hokkaido, referred to as Ezo, decides to construct a tower in the sky. By 1996, Hokkaido's tower construction is complete, and three students of Aomori have big dreams concerning this tower. 
Hiroki and Takuya are considered child prodigies and both harbor romantic feelings for Sayuri, though neither of them will dare admit it. When a drone crashes down, the two boys resolve to repair it and fly to the top of Hokkaido Tower, but before their dreams of flying it are realized, Sayuri vanishes. Unbeknownst to them, her disappearance is related closely to the tower that the two dream of reaching. This is the very first independently produced project by Makoto Shinkai. Although only 25 minutes long, it tells a heart-wrenching story of a long-distance love. After watching all of Shinkai's work, you can really tell why your name was so successful. It is really a story revised and edited into a masterpiece it is, almost 20 years in the making. A story of a long-distance love and male messages between a boy and a girl, set in 2046, after the discovery of the ruins of an alien civilization on Mars, man has been able to make leaps in technology and is planning to send an expedition into space in the next year. Mikako and Noboru are junior high school students. However, while Noboru will be entering senior high next winter, Mikako is selected to join the space expedition. Also it has giant robots fighting, so that's cool. I have never finished this series as I found the first 5 episodes to be very boring, but I have heard from others that the show finally picks up in the second season. I may revisit it in the future, but if you feel the need to chop onions in front of the TV, this is for you. Tomoya Okazaki is a delinquent who finds life dull and believes he'll never amount to anything. He skips school and plans to waste his high school days away. One day, while walking to school, Tomoya passes a young girl muttering quietly to herself. He soon discovers the girl's name is Nagisa Furukawa. Tomoya learns Nagisa has been held back a year due to a severe illness and that her dream is to revive the school's drama club. Claiming he has nothing better to do, he decides to help her achieve this goal along with the help of four other girls. As Tomiya spends more time with the girls, he learns more about them and their problems. As he attempts to help each girl overcome her respective obstacles, he begins to realize life isn't as dull as he once thought. I really enjoyed this show, not only for the romance, but the great music and artwork as well. I do have some problems with it that I may talk about in the future on how this series could have been a masterpiece like your name. Music accompanies the path of the human metronome. The project is pianist Kosei Arima. After the passing of his mother, Kosei falls into a downward spiral, rendering him unable to hear the sound of his own piano. Two years later, Kosei still avoids the piano and lives a colorless life alongside his friends Tsubaki and Ota. However, everything changes when he meets a beautiful violinist Kaori, who stirs up his world and sets him on a journey to face music once again. This is my all-time favorite movie, even more than your name. By just a tiny bit. While not exactly a romantic show, it tells the love of a mother and her children. Hana, a hardworking college student, falls in love with a mysterious man who attends one of her classes. Though he is not an actual student, as it turns out, he is not truly human either. On a full moon night, he transforms, revealing that he is the last werewolf alive. Despite this, Hana's love remains strong and the two ultimately decide to start a family. Hana gives birth to two healthy children, Ame and Yuki both possessing the ability to turn into wolves. All too soon, however, the sudden death of her lover devastates Hana's life, leaving her to raise a peculiar family completely on her own. The stress of raising her wild nature children in a densely populated city, all while keeping their identity a secret, culminates in the decision to move to the countryside, where she hopes Ame and Yuki can live a life free from judgments of society. Wolf Children is the heartwarming story about the challenges of being a single mother in an unforgiving modern world. If you have any other recommendations, please let others know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, 